Hello and welcome. This is an introduction to Music 21, a powerful tool developed at MIT using Python to help researchers, musicians and students to analyze, transcribe and create music. You can download and install the latest version of Music 21 by running pip install music21 in your command prompt. Once installed, you can import the whole package into your Python script. Music 21 is based on the concept of musical objects. Objects such as note, chord, stream, part and score represent different elements of a piece of music. Each has its own properties and methods which allow you to manipulate and analyse music in a variety of ways. Let's start by creating a simple note object with n equals note dot note c4. This represents the note C in the fourth octave, also known as middle C. We can now explore the note's attributes. Printing n.name prints the note's name, and n.octave prints its octave. The pitch attribute returns a separate pitch object which has its own attributes. For example, we can use the sub-attribute n.pitch.frequency to return the note's frequency in hertz. Another important attribute of a note object is its duration. By default, the duration of a note object in Music 21 is one quarter note, or crotchet, but we can modify this. For example, n.quarterlength equals 0.5 sets the duration to an eighth note, or quaver, or n dot quarter length equals two sets the duration to a half note or minim. We can view the note in notation software such as Sibelius, Finale or MuseScore by calling the show method. The stream class is one of the most important classes in Music 21. It can be thought of as a container of notes, chords and other musical objects. Let's create a simple stream object with s equals stream dot stream. We can now use its append method to add objects to it. First we'll add a time signature object with s dot append meter dot time signature three four. Next we can also use append to add some note objects. Once again we'll call s dot show to see the notated stream. In the next tutorial, we'll continue to explore more of what Music 21 can do. If you found this interesting and helpful, kindly consider hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel, and leave a comment about what specific aspects of Music 21 you'd like me to cover next.